scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Preservation is very important. It matters to God that the generations that come, that our children and our children's children, they must be able to hold on to the template of our convictions. And there is a system design. To make your child and your child's child know and believe your God. There is nothing as dangerous and disheartening for a father as seeing his child not serve his God. He says, as for me and my house. Not as for me alone. Not as for me and my wife. Transgenerational relevance is important in the kingdom. That the scope of our relevance must not just transcend our lifetime or the, the jurisdiction of our relevance as apportioned by God. Kingdom advance is very important. But we must be able to culture ourselves into the spiritual system apportioned by God to preserve his ordinances. Every time I study history, my heart is broken. They will tell you about cities like Spokane. They will tell you about several places. Once upon a time, Europe was the center of revival. Are we together? Fire was burning all across the length and the breadth of those territories. And now you would hardly, hardly thank God for the things that are happening. There was a time in the city of Welch. There was a revival that broke out. Men and women caught fire just by reading the move of God on a newspaper. People received impartations. They got born again. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. Growths disappeared from people just reading about a revival. But the system of preservation was not there. So our history books are full of the moves of God. Mighty things. Dimensions that our generation has not even entered into. But then most of them, the lifespan of that extent of impact was the lifespan of the one who pioneered that move. Usually with the death or the backsliding of the pioneer, the move dies. And dies to a point that it is buried and there is no monument in that territory that testifies that God once moved. Everybody shout God forbid. God forbid. There must be ordinances preserved that in life or in death they will know once upon a time God God moved across this nation, moved across this city, and there are testaments, not just physical buildings and monuments, but a heritage, a spiritual heritage that has refused to leave. When you travel across the West, I travel across these areas a lot, and I am profoundly touched at how they respect monuments that remind you of certain notable events that once happened in those regions. It could be places of worship. It could be physical monuments. It could be lots of things. I remember one time a few years ago when Kogi and Pastor Alpha was taking us around and we're seeing some of the monuments. They showed me certain places where wars happened. They showed me certain historical things. There must be a system of preserving not just the, the heritage of being a Christian, but the extent to which God moved must also be captured. It is important that our children know that not only were we Christians, we were men of fire. It, it must, it's important that our children must know that once upon a time, 
a preacher can be preaching and the power of God can touch someone miles away let me tell you something when Satan finds out that it is difficult for him to capture a generation he gives up on that generation and goes to our children and starts growing with them Satan can be patient for as long as the generation that has sponsored God's move fades away so he will be silent and sometimes we will mistake his silence as our breakthrough in the spirit not knowing that it's an intentional deceit for many years he can be quiet until those who were at the hallmark of alignment allowing the purposes of God to be birthed either through old age or whatever exhaustion when they fade away then he grows with a generation a generation that do not know God a generation that does not know Pharaoh again a generation that does not know Joseph today there are certain buildings that were one centers of revivals they are clubs today do you know why there was no system of preserving the move of God that once upon a time this was a place of encounter it was a place where people would run to God with their challenges and roll up and down in Zaria here there have been physical locations that because of the extent of the incense that arose to heaven and the sacrifices that conveyed those times they became portals literally but many things have happened to them oh yeah Oh, 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 that there is a way you have been trained to call upon the name of the Lord. And one day you will watch your child in limbo and confusion. You have not taught him. What secret did you carry that made your ministry prosper? Now your son is 22 years. Are you not surprised at the children of some of those who pioneered moves? And you are wondering what happened? Where did the power go to? They asked him, why did you not receive from Elisha? What happened? There are mantles and graces that are still on earth but are not available for use because the system of preservation and transference was not there. The West is full of great prophetic movements. Many of them died at infancy largely due to illiteracy and a quick capture of hell. However, there is still a heritage of the eyes that can see and the ears that can hear there are still those moves are we together yes our soils and territories are full of stories you meet an old man and he tells you it was in this location one day rain was falling everywhere but you see this house you are looking at that is now a beer parlor rain did not fall there and then you ask who was there they said there was one white man we don't know his name we just know that he came from america and spent two weeks there the moment he left people started falling under the anointing on the street where then is that mantle what was the formula nobody was taught he left or died and you find out that in that territory the most powerful person hardly knows god guessing all around We must preserve the curriculum a portion for us to know God my generation must know the God I know not the God they want to know they must understand his power to the extent to which we allowed him move and this is what this teaching is aimed at providing us to open us up to the systems in the spirit that are responsible for proof for preserving divine ordinances so that one day this little kids playing around that little boy can hold the mic and say i remember the name my father called god when i wanted him to heal, to heal people the 
there was a song my father raised every time the power of God was about to move whenever I saw my father close his eyes I understood the meaning if we ignore our children we are going to destroy a generation most of our parents will tell you they attended TL Osborne's crusade correct they attended most of these crusades they will tell you what happened some of the generals some of our parents went abroad at the times of those movements and they had the privilege to go to those cathedrals they saw raw power they saw prophecy they saw grace they saw transformation beyond the church walls and today they sit down with sicknesses ravaging them and you say daddy do you believe god he says i remember i remember 1971 I remember dear lost one crusade what happened preservers of the ordinances of God are we blessed I have done my best to study revivals and to study the life of the generals and every time I study I see gaps gaps between one generation and another what did Smith Wigglesworth know that we do not know? What did Catherine Kuhlman know that we do not know? Even if they made mistake, what wrong did they do? We are not even, we, we, we only talk about the mistakes. We don't say what, if people walk at that dimension and they still slipped, will it not be wise to find out? If I were alive in the days of the generals, I would not yet be qualified to hold a mic. I would be a chief usher. With the level of spiritual development now that we brag around and make noise about, you would dare not hold a mic in those days. No. Read the Bible and see those who worked in welfare departments. The welfare department of the early apostles were the crusaders of our generation. If you were ever given an opportunity to speak to people, the number of the prophetic eyes that screened you and all of them would have to unanimously pass you. When you study the history of the move of God in Nigeria, that was how men like Apostle Babalola were detected. They were not detected by desire. It took the eyes of the spirit and the supervision of a very strong apostolic council that knew God not you don't come and lie and talk nonsense with fake visions mm -mm. are we together john g lake had those we call healing technicians the condition to be qualified to be called a healing technician was that for starters when you came they would give you a sick body and give you 30 days how many days any sick body whether one leg and the other amputated, that's not the issue. Whatever allocation reaches you, your assignment is to turn that dead body to a miracle. 30 days. If you could not heal that person within 30 days, John Lake will politely tell you, we have seen you are trying, but please go and join the congregation. Very simple. Spokane became the healthiest city in the world because one man but the question is not the impact the question is the transference where is it where is it it was said about ew kenyon great man of faith that that man raised the dead at will raising the dead that we talk so much about was a normal occurrence are we together now There was a time a tractor broke the legs of a farmer and pieces the bones like pieces your leg is pieces and when that happened the bible says well not the bible history says that um what's his name now Kenyon came and just looked at the legs and the bones began you know i the book of ezekiel like that the man's leg not gradual healing right there and he says stand up and go away a man 
a man died during the time of St. Patrick for six months. How many months? Six months. When St. Patrick got there, he wrote his signature, wrote his signature on the grave and said they should open it. They brought the man alive. These were men who knew the ordinances of God. There are levels of spiritual manifestations you cannot guess. The level of accuracy required to produce that outcome does not allow guessing. Are we together? One of the Catholic priests, they were building a cathedral and the wood stopped and there was no money to complete it. Go and read your history. He held the wood and, co and just continued moving. And that was how it kept elongating. Today, if a little leg grows out of another, people shout around and say, how are we sure? What a shame on us. We have lost a, a, a manuscript that was freely given to a generation that made illiterate, ordinary men and women do business with God. Hallelujah. I had the opportunity to meet Prophet Kobus before I went to be with the Lord. And I remember having a conversation with him. And he was telling me what Lester Sumrall told him about what Smith Wigglesworth told Lester Sumrall and some of the moves of God and some of the prophecies that would come in our generation. And I was stunned. Smith Wigglesworth told Lester Sumrall, he said, Look, make sure you don't die with your anointing find young men who are serious and transfer it to them preservers of the ordinances of god once upon a time apostle babalola was thirsty and there was no water he understood a key and he opened the heavens and water came out of a rock ha. brothers and sisters this is not the realm of trial and error this man were custodians of the mysteries of the kingdom. Are we together? Archbishop Benson Idahosa went round the world as an African. No land could resist him. I remember one time Benny Hinn was laying hands on people and he got to Archbishop Benson Idahosa and he removed his cap. When Benny Hinn touched him, he fell under the anointing and he put his cap back. He said, thank God he was an African that drew you. I remember one crusade that they were having together with Benny Hinn. And Benny Hinn was praying, trying to charge the atmosphere and rain wanted to fall. It also came and collected the mic. He said, rain is falling. Those who are sick, lay your hands there. There was no time to waste. He didn't answer whether they had faith or not. He understood a system to force their miracle. A guy's face was bent and he came to him for healing. And he said, look up. And the guy looked up. He said, God, this is your image. If this is how you look, leave this man like that. <laughs> Custodians of the ordinances. Now, some of you, it's a shame that some of us are just hearing this for the first time. Yet, this is our spiritual heritage. When you start training children from primary school, you teach something called social studies. You teach them the history of their nation. You teach them the advantages of being a citizen of that nation. Why? You are preserving that sense of nationhood. We have lost that sense of spiritual nationhood. We do not understand the extent and that's why our faith is not strong because we are not familiar with the dealings of God. Today someone is favored in one month. He becomes prosperous and we shout about it. We insult fathers of faith for buying just a little land. Have you not read about Alexander Dewey? He was not elected but he was the spiritual mayor of Illinois. He built a city single-handedly. He was not just a prophet. He was a multi-millionaire. It was said his wealth was so mysterious. People became afraid. He built a city. Well, his opinions were had their issues here and there. But he built a city with a hospital in it. Today it's still called Zion City. In Illinois. You get there. Once he was 12 on the dot. Everywhere around the city you had to stop and pray. 
Once upon a time, Catherine Kuman was teaching, and someone came into the meeting. Sorry, Maria Woodward Eater was teaching, and someone came and was laughing at her. And the moment she was laughing at her, she said, God judge you. Her tongue swallowed immediately to be bigger than the size of her head. After three days of prayer warriors praying, that tongue refused to go down. And they advised the person to come and apologize. We came before the church and apologized to her. She laughed and slapped the tongue. It went down in their presence. Are we together? These people, it was their life. It was not sure. William Branham would stand for hours and watch a congregation and not say anything because he said he was waiting for his angel to come. You say you are seeing angels today, they say you are diabolic. You collected power from somewhere. This guy stood and did not do anything. And then eventually, all of a sudden, a physical wind will start blowing in the church physically and all of a sudden you say here comes the angel and turn and start giving a level of word of knowledge and prophecy that very few people on earth will ever get there there is no mortal man on earth now I know who is working in William Branham's dimension of prophetic accuracy they did not have videos to capture their meetings strange manifestations But something happened as powerful as these moves are the children had the opportunity to learn without guessing they had the opportunity to learn without trying with the little dimension of grace that God has exposed to me I've had the privilege of teaching people with a level of accuracy according to what God has given and have watched a reproduction imagine that you were mentored by Smith Wigglesworth imagine he told you what God taught him Imagine what happened to him when he went to heaven. Imagine that he told you. Imagine that you stood side by side with him. They brought somebody with a condition called an alligator skin. Where a skin, the top skin had rot. And they brought him before A.A. Allen. A.A. Allen looked at him and laid his hands and removed the old skin. Like that. Like you remove another hand and a new hand appears. And he threw it away. Jaco, one of the greatest manifestors of the faith of God. I watched this. It's not like they told me. They brought someone with cancer and he sat down on a chair. He looked at the neck. He held the cancer and removed it. Did you hear what I said? Not that he held it and it went down. He removed it. Everybody see I'm holding it. Shame on the devil. In Smith Wigglesworth book his own confession that one time a spirit appeared in his room devils appearing in his room and the room was shaking and rocking and he came out when he came out he looked at the parlor and he saw a spirit sitting and he turned back don't waste my time he went to go and sleep not pray not fast not bind sleep I thought it was an angel that brought a message but since it's you Satan enjoy the chair and go back this is not, I claim I am powerful. Uh -uh. This is a settled, this is truly the seated in heavenly places mentality. We are missing something. The little we have been able to capture is what we are bragging with. But there must be a system. And while we trust God, that the spirit of God who opened them up to those portals will open us also to those portals. Listen, in as much as we are trusting God for those dimensions, hear me, we must start taking cognizance of the system of preserving spiritual heritages. Do you know the mystery that governs the move of God in Koinonia? Do you know why the power of the Holy Spirit moves so lavishly? It's not just because an anointed man is holding the mic. There is a formula. Will we go with this thing and shine alone and enjoy alone and build empires alone? Or are we going to translate these things so that someone somewhere will enter another meeting in a city and all of a sudden just holding the mic, you are just saying, blessed be the name of the Lord. And you engage that mystery and you watch people rising from wheelchairs. You are not, this is not trial and error. 
that you are moving in a dimension of power and grace and illumination preservers of spiritual ordinances let me tell you the truth don't believe everybody is trying this thing there are people who have received as a blueprint the ordinances are portioned to them as a level they know it they can operate it any day any time and it will not fail regardless of what the limitations are you must understand this these things are ordinances they are given it's like a manuscript that the Spirit of God gives you you use it anywhere it will work and no devil there is a mystery that casts out devils it's not just go go no to draw from you again again we've come to draw, 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 draw from you was safely brought and revealed to the people you can know whether God has a system that represents his presence in the territory you can always know you don't need to find out how many churches no you don't need to find out how many men of God no it is a it is a, a spiritual way of discerning one of it is the extent of the dispensing of the mysteries of the kingdom and a system that preserves it. There is a way our fathers prayed and got results. Many young people pray, but we pray anyhow and pray the way we wanted. Because nobody mentored us 
in the art of prayer ah yes we were mentored to spend long hours and dissipate energy shouting but these guys had there was a mystery elijah was up the mountain and they brought a band of 50 people and he said if i be a man of god job was frustrated in his life job said god i need you here and god came what formula did job use to invoke god and god came the bible never said god said me god appeared job you called me the wife of job said cause god and die that word is mysterious that means there is a code you can speak on earth and die immediately he said cause god and die not that means it's within your power you know the formula for death job you know it why don't you end your life and job said no i still want to live please understand what i'm teaching what was the formula there is something that men can say from earth to heaven and their life ends immediately that's what the wife of job was saying do it and job said no 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 These are my contemplations. These are the things that keep me pursuing God passionately, regardless of the little results here and there. You must bench yourself by a high standard so that no matter what happens, you are, you are rated by a standard that is higher than the existing standard in your generation. It's not pride. It is a simple search to press into a depth of God and deliver to a generation. It's not for the purpose of making a name. There were mysterious secrets of wealth hidden in the Bible. The Bible is full of people who tapped into a dimension of supply that we are just trying to learn cities came out of recession overnight those ordinances are still available when elisha took the mantle of elijah he struck it in a way that the river divided the river never divided for elijah or elisha the river divided for whoever had that grace and that includes you if we stood before the red sea today we'll call architects to build bridges those guys say, pass that thing and let's go. <laughs> if God tells me to ask him one thing, I will say, Lord, please take me in a vision to ancient Egypt. I want to see the display of the power of God through Moses. I just want to be led like Ezekiel and watch. And watch Moses in that temple. And watch Pharaoh look at him. And watch the, the stench of witchcraft. And a man comes immune. For, Moses was not afraid for himself. He was on assignment. Kai. These people were strange men. No wonder Hebrews said the earth was not worthy of them. When you mention those we think the earth is not worthy of now. We mention Mother Teresa, Mandela. The earth is worthy of them. There are people the Bible says the earth is not worthy. In other words... They did the earth a favor by passing. They were not ordinary men. When we get to heaven, we will see the constituents of their design. They only carried bodies that were young. There had to be an ancient mystery inside them. And the Bible says on the count of that, the earth is not worthy of them. We shared a few things. That would help us let me run through them and then we'll finish up we didn't finish last week and my assignment is to finish it today and then we'll pray that number one the first key to advancing and preserving the move of god in a territory is a system of consistent prayer everybody say prayer and not just random need driven prayer the ministry of warfare and intercession must never go out of fashion if we want to preserve the move of God in a territory. The ministry of intercession and warfare. Now I know that we come from different places and we all have different ideas about warfare and the rest but let me tell you one truth. Based on the authority of the word of God. 
the Bible never left us in the dark as to the fact that territories have controlling powers apportioned to them and nobody prevails over a territory until you sustain capacity to subdue the powers that control a territory when you see people thrive in a territory listen carefully it is not because the power of darkness is not there it's because they have sustained a system to keep them at bay are we together let me tell you one big secret about koinonia listen to me if you find yourself in this place that you come and sit down with koinonia half of your miracle has already happened believe me i know this sounds like pride forgive me if it sounds so that you were able to successfully leave your house if god opens your eyes to see the warfare that happens have you not seen people come and sit down and immediately praise and worship starts they feel like easing themselves to go no there are spirits walking behind the scene because someone's miracle is about to come someone's life is about to change all of a sudden a stranger starts calling somebody just when prayer is about to start no sir they are not normal every service in koinonia is warfare that's why we never come into any service casual we start praying from the week the prayer department is praying every department is praying i'm praying everyone is praying and when we come you see the things that the power of god does and you are wondering no satan is also watching he is shocked at how he's resisted are we together yes, sir. you are not going to build that house just because you think you have money when all the economics are ready the realm of the spirit must be taken care of are we together just because a brother sees you and he likes you and you go back carelessly thinking you are fine is a is a joke in this wicked world that we live in you lie down to sleep and a strange woman appears to you and say in case they have not told you let me tell you that i've been here for a long time I am the one who has stopped all the 11 ladies in your family from marriage and not even you will do it. And you get up and say, well, it's just a, a, a nice dream. And you take orange juice and you find out that the day the brother said he wants to see your people, his business scattered overnight. His life scattered overnight. One ear refused to hear. And the guy says, no, I've not even married you and this is happening. And he just finds his way quietly. But those who understand that every territory must have men and women who settle realities in the realm of the spirit. You engage strong warfare and intercession. At all times, not just when you have a dream about danger. Sometimes when you have that dream, it may be too late. The Bible says to be instant in season. He spake a parable to the end that men ought always, always shakata always to pray one of the greatest assets you can teach your child is the ministry of prayer and intercession that's why i love it when our children join us when we are praying let them join they may be playing and mimicking the tongues just leave them one day you will be surprised to hear that they laid hands on their classmates in the play class the power of god does not care which hand whether the hand is the hand of a young child or an adult the moment that hand is aligned the power of god will flow through it are we together number two i taught us that the second key to preserving the ordinances of god in a territory is the regular convergence of believers the regular convergence of believers within that territory Believers must have systems of regular convergence for the purpose of training, for the purpose of building, for the purpose of mentoring, and for the purpose of receiving the current blueprint of the Spirit. He that hath an ear, not everybody has that ear. Let him hear what the Spirit saith, what he's saying, not what he said. One of the worst things that can happen to you is to be where God was. You must follow him. If he moves this way, that is your destiny. If he moves this way, that is your destiny. The moment you isolate yourself from him, 
then he's no longer a shepherd and all of a sudden things start going wrong in your life number three an open display of real miracles signs and wonders we cannot preserve the emphasis listen 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 believers hear me this has nothing to do with being called into the miracle ministry if you want men to have memories of the moves of God there must be supernatural manifestations of the power of God beyond the four walls of the church healings and miracles testimonies per second per second that remind people that God is alive are we together someone wants to laugh at God and he just sees a car that should have a ghastly motor accident and God delivered them immediately the person remembers you see him say thank God oh thank God when a when a territory forgets God then there are hardly experiences that keep him in their minds we must emphasize God through miracles signs and wonders and keep people aware of him when you see coca-cola every day it's enshrined in your mind you know how coke looks like educated or not the moment they say coca-cola we all know it that's how it must be so that even an unbeliever outside when he hears people singing God is a miracle worker he won't lie that he does not understand the meaning of that song he may not be born again but we have institutionalized the power of God in a territory it becomes impossible for people to mock God there may be critics but they know the truth Jesus walked upon the earth he moved in such dimension of power and grace although the scribes criticized him in the day nicodemus came by night john 3 and said rabbi we know he didn't say i know all of us those critics we know the truth we know that thou art a man sent from god what convinced them for no man can do these things not say these things no man can do these things i write to you all excellent theophilus of all that jesus began both to do and teach not teach alone do and teach we are a generation of a performance there must be a performance and the performance must be beyond falling down results results that defy science results that create arguments results that stops an unbeliever from sleeping in the night and he sees this every time God is revealed it's a message that pounds in the heart of someone who does not know God. It forces men to acknowledge that there is a God because they cannot explain the synergy behind that miracle. When people begin to say there is no God, it is because the sons of light have refused to show them God. Are we together? Remember Paul and Silas and the episode of the jailer. The Bible says they were jailed, tied, hands and foot and the bible says they prayed and they sang suddenly there was an earthquake an earthquake came and rattled the entire prison and then the bible says that the chains broke from their hands and the bible says that while they were singing the praise and the worship the jailers all of them had them i'm sure they were laughing stupid people useless prisoners you won't sit down in one place and while they were singing all of a sudden there was a physical earthquake the hands the chains were bound and then all of a sudden the bible says all doors were open and it was time for paul and silas to go out and the jailer wanted to kill himself because he was tantamount to death and he said no you don't have to rush calm down we are here that man got born again immediately one miracle will answer one thousand questions all these useless explanations we keep giving let me tell you every critic already knows the truth explaining to them is a waste of time you answer by a superior performance of the power the grace the wisdom of god not to make a name not to build an empire but to reveal jesus to make him manifest number four and that's where we stopped last week intentional mentorship of younger believers not young believers we are young younger believers if the ordinances of God must be preserved in a territory there must be an intentional system of mentorship 
that raises the younger believers and it starts right from nursery class primary school etc etc there must be a system of intentional mentorship when we have a generation of people who are ignored do you know by the time an average young man gets to 15 largely he or she their lives have been wrecked beyond repair are we together we must be able to capture people from the ages of these little children and show them God let their lingua franca be Jesus and Jesus only we mentor them gone are the days where people commit themselves to investing in children ministry and young people society has tainted people the moment you focus on children they say it's because you're a young man and in, in a bit to manage that embarrassment of not looking small or a child we have ignored them and satan says if you ignore them and I'm, I'm available more than available there must be a mentorship of younger ministers younger ministers they must be mentored to understand but the only challenge i have with mentorship is that the mentor himself must have an encounter with god otherwise we are going to mentor our limitations to people it will be a transference of limitations there are many people is because of mentorship they stop believing god there are dimensions of god they would have believed but a mentor created a theology out of his limitation and forced them to believe it and raped their potentials for entering superior dimensions in the spirit they were people who began to have visions dreams prophetic encounters until they met a so-called mentor and he told them it was diabolism and they casted it out and closed the door against the holy spirit not everybody can mentor being in ministry for a long time does not qualify you for mentorship you can be doing the wrong thing in ignorance for many years it's an election of grace God must train people with a track record and a testimony of walking with the Holy Spirit. Number five. The fifth way that the ordinances of God, the program of God is preserved over territories is influence. 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 God must find people in high places that are in places of influence enough to supervise the policies that preserve God in a territory. Are we together? For a very long time, the church has been indoctrinated to resent influence. We have been indoctrinated into believing that every time people aspire to rise to prominent positions, to sit upon the notable places of several spheres of influence is a proof of carnality. So we create, we have created a theology that you either be carnal and influential or spiritual and private. No, sir. No, sir. Jesus was a man of influence. What is influence? The ability to mold your understanding into people without using force. The ability to compel people to buy into your beliefs. To buy into your, your paradigms. To buy into your perceptions. Without using force. You use results. Acts chapter 10. Acts chapter 18. The verse of emphasis is verse 10. But for reference purposes you can put verse 7 to verse 18. But let's look at just verse 10. For the sake of time help us media verse 10 acts chapter 18 and verse 10 it says for i am with you and no one will attack or hurt you what is the reason for i have many people in this city there are many people who call upon my name in this city and the fact that i have several people is an advantage to my agenda are we together now that when God has many people in places of influence it was the influence of Joseph or Arimathea that brought down the body of Jesus it was not prayer that brought Jesus from the cross he would have died and remained there on the cross but a man of influence Joseph of Arimathea who had business concerns with Herod told him that look I want the body of Jesus 
and on grounds of that partnership and friendship he said all right no problem he will be buried in my own tomb influence played a role in our salvation we have entertained a weak and a beggarly church with no voice policies and policies come up from an antichrist government men and women who do not know god neither do they have respect for his ordinances they are the ones that sit in the high places and spirits manipulate them to making life me difficult for the church and we are here praying in tongues throwing ourselves from pillar to post and rejecting influence there are two principal ways the kingdom advances one is evangelism two is influence none of them can replace another evangelism and influence the gospel is a message and it's an ideology it's not a message alone the message of the gospel is the revelation of the love of the father demonstrated in the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus and the response of man to that act of love and benevolence the result of which is the life of god imparted into man that is the message of the gospel but there is the ideology of the gospel a system that seeks to enthrone christ and his value systems first in the hearts of men and then across every strata of human existence here's the great commission go ye into not go ye around enter a system cosmos the social system the mountains that represent the spheres of influence that govern the cultures of people let me have representations there he says do not be afraid why no one will hurt you because i have many people there when the righteous are in power the people rejoice he says when the wicked perish there are shouts of joy When the vice chancellor of a university calls upon the name of the Lord, it's an advantage for the advancement of the kingdom within that territory. If the wealthiest man in Zaria calls upon the name of the Lord, it's an advantage to the growth of the church. I believe in influence. I never will reject influence. God has blessed me with influential people, some fathers of faith, some great people connected to this ministry directly or indirectly great men of influence scattered across the military scattered across business scattered across every mountain i will never be indoctrinated to rejecting them because their relevance will show when you want to ward the gates of hell they will come physically through men and god there is only a limit there are certain doors that will never open for you you need somebody already in there who has the purposes of the kingdom are we together? There are many cities that refuse to sell land for believers. But certain men of influence and certain pastors that God has granted influence will come to that land and a call will come directly. Oga governor, Oga lands and survey coordinator, release 10 hectares now for this church. Their advantage can increase the economy of this land and all they say is yes sir may god put someone around your destiny that knows god and has influence Amen. influence can shorten your journey all this prayer and fasting we pray out of unbelief is because we are using one system of the kingdom to remedy another influence can answer a lot of prayers are we together influence can answer a lot of prayers a lot of prayers God's people must find their way to the high places of life to represent his interest in the places that matter in the places that matter imagine if Michael Jackson ever said Jesus he would win more souls than many crusades combined that the Jesus was a mistake or it was intentionally so are we together I shared with us last week that Islam is the fastest growing religion in Europe they have never packed a stadium for a crusade they are using one weapon that we have ignored influence 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 
We live in a world that is governed by influence. Brothers and sisters, we need it. Whoever has influence sets the rules and forces you to work with the rules. I made up my mind that I will never pastor a spiritual and a weak people. Spirituality and influence can go hand in hand. And that's the template I've chosen. So I will continue to pray for you and teach you that you rise and become great people. In ministry here, at the level that God has brought us, there is hardly anything we want at this level that we cannot get because of the power of influence. Almost everything we will need at this level is a call away. A call away. A call away. If it's military might, a call away. Are we together? If it's some kind of legal stance, it's a call away. The power of influence. If anybody comes and tries to bully the ministry and oppress the lives of people, God has strategically placed people in areas of influence to do that. Influence is important. You reject it, you will pay for it. Are we together? You reject it, you will pay for it. We need influence every time. We need influence everywhere. If there is an emergency case right now and we need attention in the hospital, by the grace of God, he has given us influence to call some of the highest people that God can grant grace and make sure that we mobilize assistance for people. You see, believers are not taught how to live in a socio-economic environment. We are taught how to live in church, but we are not taught the wisdom for living. And it is the lack of this understanding that destroys us. A day will come, you will need help and ministry, the work of God will suffer greatly without it. It will require influence. Every week you see people here, you know, um, um, and so on and so forth, have people, the bosses that come from, oh, almost if not 100% of all the drivers, they are not Christians. But by 9 o'clock they come and wait here, all of them, and they are watching the meeting. It's called influence. Are we together? Don't reject influence. It is when influence is mismanaged that it can destroy people. There are people here by the grace of God and with all humility. They have gotten jobs overnight because of influence. Oh, how are you, sir? There are students who had no business graduating, but influence took them and they just left. Because you know somebody that can favor and help them. Hello, sir. Please, can you help A, B, C, D? There are people who have gotten admission because of influence. There are people who have gotten promotion because of influence. The church has become grounded because we have hated and rejected influence. And we keep praying. The answer leaves the realm of the spirit. But the system that makes it manifest, influence being one of them, is largely ignored. We must receive grace for influence. Hallelujah. There are people who have been at the police station and the situations around their lives would have been grievous but because of the power of influence one call officer inspector i'm the one calling a b c d e f g and it's, it's over unbelievers understand this you can catch a criminal a capon take him to prison in two hours one call makes one call makes one call abroad returns one call back to nigeria and the person is out walking on the street and then a sincere believer who loves god but is ignorant of the systems of god is kept and locked god must give us influence in the name of jesus christ god has helped us as a ministry i tell you the truth and i say it without humility god has given us influence and we have we have honored our way into those influence are we together it matters you have influence to the degree to which men rise to remedy any challenges that stand before you it will happen in ministry i remember there was i think a, a few months or so ago or weeks there was someone that wanted to just make some trouble because of the overflow and all of that and before all those troubles will rise people arose from everywhere and said no way 
no way you are you are a joker we have been blessed beyond imagination that's the power of influence i never had to go there to find out what happened influence many of you may never know but there's a gentleman now serving five years five months or so in the prison during one of the night vigils he wanted to steal a car somewhere there but because we had influence and access to military might they were caught and apprehended and handled and I didn't even know it was the next day while we were on our way to the trip the protocol department told me oh they got intelligence let me tell you something if there is a crisis God forbid in Zaria within one hour we have built a system of immunity we are not stupid people with in less than five minutes whatever needs to be communicated to every koinonia member will reach the person and the relevant structures for military might and influence will be put we are not stupid people we are living in a we will the horse is prepared for battle safety is of the lord but the horse will not sleep you are living in a wicked world don't assume you are not living in one are we together When the devil uses men to rise against you, do you have enough influence or are you connected to people of influence that can come and speak the purposes of God? Hallelujah. We must never reject influence. Brothers and sisters, please take what I'm telling you seriously. There are churches today who have refused to get land because of influence. There are churches today who have never gotten certain opportunities because they have ignored influence. They rejected it, they resented it, and it left them completely. Influence. We go to the bank and by the privilege of God's influence, many things that should not be done ordinarily are done to us because of influence. If you reject influence, you will never, never experience certain dimensions of God. Influence is not just Christians. Influence is God lifting you to a platform where you can get the loyalty of men you can get the whatever it is that they represent hallelujah the school of ministry students will soon be graduating and while we're trying to uh, prepare for their graduation and so on and so forth they were talking one time about their uniforms what they would wear and one one of the students of the school of ministry is here he just got up and said look i can get you graduation gowns the only reason why they are not using it is simply because there are more students than the gowns can take but influence that's something somebody can be praying for three days and say lord wouldn't you raise somebody no many of the need driven prayers are products of lack of spiritual intelligence influence can answer many prayers do not be afraid I have many people many people many people could it be that our parents have rejected influence to their detriment could it be that several people across have rejected influence to their detriment influence is powerful powerful I remember when Boko Haram struck Mubi many of them may be listening from here now and all of that destabilized the church the entire church in movie everything scattered men of God had to go people were killed and all of that and God granted us the access through the power of influence to be part of those that God is using to bring the church within that territory back next month and back there again what a privilege to strengthen the believers and call everybody back again and say the purposes of God must thrive on this land that's the power of influence are we together i believe in influence i am friends to politicians talk whatever rubbish they are christians many of them have gotten born again many of them know god and they have the purposes of god i advise some of them i pray for them i'm not looking for their money god has been faithful we ignore these people in the name of spirituality and when there is need for help nothing happens i remember i think it was in niger state one of the year I, I, I don't know before the, the last election or so the can p 
people wanted me to go and talk they usually have men of God that go and talk with the government you know and talk with them and the last time they took one young guy the guy went there and did a lot of very naughty things you understand what I'm saying people misuse because they don't understand the protocol of greatness I've had the privilege to advise people high and mighty they love me there are things that influence have brought to my life have brought to this ministry there is no good thing that comes into this land that we are not aware of there are systems of influence that grant us access to the choices of everything please believe in the power of influence otherwise you are going to pay for it in in unbelievable ways I've shared with you a humorous story about a young guy in NDA and the Emir of Zaria where the guy wanted to get admission and he failed the test among other reasons they said there was a height requirement to join the NDA and they said he fell short by a few inches sorry we cannot take you and the guy got angry and came one person connected to the other and the news got to the Emir and the Emir said that they should go and tell the commandant of NDA that the Emir has added the height of that man everybody say influence do you think they took him yes the person may probably have finished now the worthy soldier influence his destiny would have been jeopardized he would have been a farmer somewhere loitering in, in, in all kinds of pain and and doing it they, they, just a little farming the back of his house in pain but influence brought him back to destiny don't reject influence don't reject influence I will never reject influence if God grants me access to great people I will talk to them most of us know Billy Graham to be an evangelist a dimension of him that is hardly known was that he was an influential man he was a mentor to several presidents of America it was not luck he literally pressed for it he said how many times Billy Graham will write letters to the presidents and they would turn him down they would throw away the letters but he continued because he believed that he was destined among other things to be an advisor to presidents from today and um, not even from today it's, it's been like that for many years I, I believe every president goes to pay homage to him regardless of what their spiritual orientation is about God is the power of influence will cause men to do things for God that they had no business doing because of influence in the name of Jesus Christ when you go to Dubai you go to China they have never been under pressure to learn English because of influence they speak whatever language influence translates it to those who are the benefactors of whatever they represent Chinese people have never seen I remember one keyboard years ago that my father bought from wherever I don't know where he got that keyboard brought it excitedly at home and said look there's a, a very classic keyboard and I looked at it and it was a toy full of Chinese I looked at everything and I said how in the world are we supposed to I mean there is no, even on you know like English slash China it was pure I'm sure it's one of those things that were just shipped into the country I remember the frustration many times when I'm trying to look for the right voice because I can't speak it that's the power of influence they have not seen a need to downgrade their systems to English because they have value that the world must subscribe to Lord make me a man of influence lift your voice and pray in one minute I covet it the Bible says to covet earnestly I desire it not for self aggrandizement not for the carnality of it for the sake of your kingdom your purposes must be represented not in just in a land it must be represented among great people Lift your voice and pray in one minute. Lord, grant us influence. As a house, we receive the grace. We receive the mantle. We know the value of influence as far as kingdom advance is concerned. And we receive it with all our hearts. Unashamedly and unapologetically, we receive kingdom influence. 
in business, in finances, in ministry, in government, we receive it. point I'll talk about tonight and then we'll pray the sixth way that the precepts the ordinances of God are preserved in a territory is through an open display of love an open display of the love of God love that is without prejudice love that is without tribalism love that is outside of religion any sect, any movement, any church, any program that does not communicate the love of God to the community and the territory with which it is represented does not have a future. Regardless of the prayer fire, regardless of the mentorship, listen carefully, regardless of the quality of the word the spirit of revelation that is prevalent within that territory if there is no love everybody say love no. not just love for the brethren the bible says to to love all men be good to them especially they that are of the household of faith i have watched the resentment that men of god the resentment that churches and ministries who are benefiting from a territory have towards that territory one of the requirements for being blessed and endorsed by a territory is that there must be a perception from that territory that these people love us and they seek our good are we together demonstrated in many ways but ultimately it must become a culture and a conviction I've seen many moves of God even in, in, in recent time across several territories where they have later fought the man of God. They fought the man of God, fought the church, fought everything. You know why? The community does not have a perception of the love. Not just love towards God, love towards men. I watch your life and I see the way you treat non-Christians. I watch your life and I see the way you treat people who are not your tribe. I watch your life and I see the way you treat people who did not have the privilege to go to school. I watch your life and I see that although you are a prayer giant, your resentment and sarcasm towards the territory God has planted you. The Bible says, for God so loved the world. First, he didn't just send a son to come and get out of the territory. It was love that brought him. If you want to see the purposes of God established and preserved, even through this ministry, we must love our environment. Are we together? We must love the body of Christ within this environment. I've, I've taught us that there may be one, listen to that message, is powerful. There are four encounters I've taught us here that you must have in your life to be efficient. Number one is an encounter with the Lord Jesus. The benefit of that encounter is life eternal. So wait. Number two, an encounter with the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The benefit of that encounter is leadership, guidance. The third encounter you must have is an encounter with the word of God, the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom. Are we together? The benefit you get from that encounter is capacity for legislature, dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the mysteries and the systems of the kingdom but the last encounter that very few people have understood is an encounter with the body of christ an encounter with the body of christ not just god but the body of christ if you have not had an encounter with the body of christ you remain lopsided i trust god for when i will begin to write books I have a book that I'm going to write. The title is Balance. It's a reorientation of the bride of Christ. The book is about the bride of Christ. The wife of the lamb. And the dishonor that has been communicated to her. 
the scriptural text is jealousy is the rage of a man giving you a preview to the book jealousy is the rage when you touch a responsible man's wife and claim you love the man are you not a hypocrite are we together pastor Alpha, can someone insult your wife and then bow to you that's a hypocrite so when you hate his bride and claim you love him something is missing somewhere a wounded bride is still a bride an imperfect bride is still a bride we must have an encounter with the body of christ i was sharing with a dear friend he's seated here we're having a little discussion in the afternoon and i was just talking to him about the body of christ let me tell you something one of the greatest keys to be granted unusual anointings please listen to me greater than your prayer life greater than fasting is your love for God and your love for his body you will never be given the power to heal the sick if you hate the people you are going to heal are we together every spiritual gift works by love every manifestation of the power of God works by love if I hate Ejimi right now and God gives me prophecy for Ejimi the purity with which that prophecy left the throne is not the purity with which it will be delivered. That, that prophecy will rub off on my hatred. And chances are that I will add to that prophecy what God did not say. Which was a derivative of my personal vendetta with him. Are we together now? Love. Most of us trivialize love. We love power. If I tell everybody, shout power, you stand up with two hands and say, power, oh God. Shout miracles, miracles. Shout gifts, gifts. Shout love, and we say the ladies can't shout it. That's the reason why many people never walk in the high places of the spirit. The Bible says, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has it come into the hearts, the comprehension of any man, that which God has in store for they that love him. Are we together? He says, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. Not how you pray, not the wheelchairs you lift up. When you have love one for another. <laughs> the Bible says, how can you claim you love God that you have not seen when you hate your brother? Listen, having a different perspective is not a reason for hatred. There are many people that walk... The extended workforce of the ministry includes several people. There are people watching from the projector stand outside. Some of the drivers will soon come. They are Muslims. I love them. I greet them all the time. When they give birth, our protocol department goes to greet them. We invite them for dinner. The Muslims know that I love them. I have neighbors who are Muslims. Whenever they are celebrating any occasion, I try to greet them. Sometimes we sit and see brotherly kindness. I remember when Koinonia used to do counseling sessions before we stop. Ask those who come. You see trunks of Muslim families come together with everything, not in hiding. They come openly. Muslims recommend people and say, Look, go to that man of God. And they come. Oh, I am Haji Adis. I am Alaji Adis. And I say, You are so welcome. You are so welcome. Not what are you doing here? <laughs> the world is not for Christians. The world is for anybody God allows to arrive here. Whoever. <laughs> whoever arrives here. Whoever arrives here. Deserves to be shown love. There are families. Some of your families have a mixture of Christians and Muslims. Look at the fight that happens there. The prayer warrior slash priest is the greatest troublemaker in that family because he disagrees with everything. Everything. I remember when I was in primary school, they do Muslim prayers, Christian prayers, and after they do it, everybody hugs themselves. We, truly speaking, growing up, I did not know any difference between Muslims and Christians. We celebrated Christmas together. When it was time for Salah, we looked forward to Rams arriving and all of that. I mean, people were just happy, you see people. But the resentment, especially of the church. Are we together? 
there are three people that come around how are you I'm, I'm, what's your name I'm James how are you my name is Femi how are you my name is Abdullahi uh, you stand here and we try to be able to say look we are the church no sir you are the light of the world 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 a city set on a hill as far as we are represented in this land everybody will be blessed from it we will pray for everybody we will strive to get as many to the saving knowledge of Jesus but regardless I there are people I pray for I pray for them with all my heart some of them come and they bring their chance I'm sorry sir you know the way my practice I tell them I said no problem but this is the way it is um, you know when you want to see this this chance will not help not hey! you are bringing champ my Jesus where are you show up all these kinds of things that we do no sir we are not going to bless the world that way are we together some of us have neighbors six o'clock you are shouting you open the door and just move hey sister femi come brother this come and we're on our way going and all the muslim people good morning sir and they are watching let me tell you listen to me we will never preserve the ordinances of the kingdom that way but when there is love you hear that someone is sick uh -uh. I mean, now you are sick. What is wrong? Is your mother around? No, she's not around. Let's go to the hospital. Ah, and the lady is watching you. You go to the hospital. You've paid the bills. Please. I mean, is also my daughter. And the Hajia comes and says, ah, ah, I thought you were supposed to go to church. And say, the reason why I would have gone to church is what I am doing now. I'm not a hypocrite. I will not go to church and let somebody die. The very training I would receive in the church was to take care of such a person. And I'm here seated. Yes, the woman goes back. I love families where you see people regardless of religion, regardless of this, they love themselves. There is this resentment. And we pastors are the architects of programming members to hate any other person who is not them. The worst part of it is that it has even entered the church. It's no longer Christians versus non-Christians. Denomination. Every time you see somebody that dresses this way, you are not told to hate directly. It's through a series of messages that draw a straight line. Hate this person. If you see any lady who behaves this way, hate this person. If you see any brother that behaves this way, hate this person. If you see any young man of God preaching, hate this person. If you see any ministry where the power of God manifests, hate them. If you see any ministry where the man of God cannot even pray in tongues, hate him. We all combine that war and think we are being spiritual. And God is watching us. God is not a Christian. No. I hope you are aware. God is not a Christian. God is the God of all flesh. God is not a Christian. When the, when, the, when the angel appeared to Joshua, he said, are you for us or against us? He said, you are joking. I'm not for anybody. I'm standing on God's side. Whoever I find there is the one for me. You are not there. You, are, you go away immediately. The last supper that we talk about in heaven, good news is one big table and everybody who arrives there must sit there. You, you are not given the privilege of choosing your neighbor. We are there. One big family. The Bible already told us. Listen. One of the biggest secrets of the grace of God upon my life. Is that I never resent any man of God. I never resent any church. You will never hear me open my mouth. To talk against any man of God. No. If I mention names. It is for commendation and for blessings now i have my reservations i have my convictions but it is not enough reason you see me greet and love people anywhere i have friends and great people that we vary sharply in beliefs but i love them with all my heart are we together who taught you to love only those who agree with you doctrinally religiously some of us innocently, our mothers have indoctrinated us. Hate this one. In this neighborhood, everybody's a witch except us. Someone prepares a nice meal 
and they bring it and say if i if i if i see you touch that rice the slap i will give you and the neighbors are watching bring those people for deliverance and see who manifests you'll be surprised that the only thing the unbeliever needs is salvation but the so-called jumping noise maker before they even arrive and sit they're already shaking and shouting and flying up and down let's be careful the greatest enemies of jesus were not prostitutes they were not children he loved them when he saw a woman who was caught in adultery um, he said woman where are than accusers he said neither do i accuse you that's jesus for you he met a woman by the well and the woman was afraid as usual because everyone had treated her that way Jesus said you have five husbands the one that is with you is not even your husband I thought Jesus said you said Abba one husband two husbands because that's what Joshua Selma would have done madam what what is wrong with you you have not listened to my message essential for a glorious relationship thank God Jesus is not me I'm the one who strives to become him are we together but here's a loving loving i remember one time i was counseling someone i think he had three wives and then he was telling me he said well the other wife the third wife is my daughter and i was shocked he just passed the statement and there's a comeback the what ah oh god you are mentioning this thing and you are and, and the holy spirit convicted me you see when something has happened it has happened god manages that system to bear his will there are no longer regrets doesn't mean you should do it. Yes, yes, yes. Doesn't mean you should do it. Don't go and marry anyhow. But I'm saying, when you meet people and something has already happened, if a lady has already gotten pregnant and she's giving birth to the child, you won't carry the child and put him back to her. The child has arrived. The most important thing is let's get God into that life. That's how we salvage the situation. Listen, by the grace of God, one of my life's goal is to be the arm for wounded people to find shelter. And I say amen to that. Amen. Are we together? That when someone is wounded, I will not just be an anointed man of God, but a shoulder that you can lean on. That when other people are moving and shouting and running their mouth like we do in the body of Christ, that it is you will be the shoulder for people to lean on. Oh, I used to pray before, but something happened to my life. Hey! Something happened. What happened? Pride a bit. But you are, you are the arm. He says, it's all right. There is a system in the kingdom where mighty men can arise again. Love. Is God speaking to us? There is nobody who wants to be a member of such kind of a church. Nobody will not want to be a, a leader of such kind of a, of a pastor. Look at what this guy is doing. <laughs> can you imagine? I'm busy preaching and using him for example and he's there. Well, I love him too. God bless you, Sam. I love you so much. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yes. The workers in this ministry know that I love them. I love the leaders outspokenly. How many of you see Benga when he shines? Come Benga. When he shines, when he shines, when he shines, he said he didn't do it today, but I mean... He bought the clipper by himself and trust me, he does a good job. Better than, I mean, he shines that thing and brings it for me to impart upon it. It's called love. When you see people, anointing and love can go hand in hand. You don't have to drag your face as if you are the person. Who, no, 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 no. I love people. God bless you. You see me and it's me. You, you see me and the little children. I'm sure it's only because protocol has stopped them now. Otherwise, these children can run while I'm preaching now. They don't care. To them, your Joshua Selman is apostle to you. That, that, he's the person who plays with me when I'm ready for play. After service, they run. They don't care whether I ate or not, whether I've broken fast or not. They just jump and expect me to hold them. It's called love. There is a side of God we have failed to reveal because we have thought that revealing it is weakness. I love Muslims. You will never see tribalism in this ministry. Never. Never. The workers have been taught. They've been taught. Oh, you are Igbo. You are Yoruba. Mm -mm -mm. No, no man after the flesh. 
I love my people. Don't get me wrong. There are my people listening to me from just. I love all of you with all my heart. But trust me. Trust me. I love the body of Christ. I have gone to every region in this nation. They have received me with joy and honor. Without prejudice. Without sentiment. I humorously used to talk with my people. And I tell them, I say, we have many houses in this nation. And then we keep listing all the houses, the frequent places that we visit. I'll be going to Mubi now, um, next month. And whenever I reach there, do you know how they greet me? Daddy, oh yo yo. That's how they dance, because that's home. And it's home, I love them with all my heart. I told them the next time I come here, I'll look for land and buy, because I think I qualify to be, uh, whatever it is, the, 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 the local, the son of the soil of that place. How about Kogi? The, the, the amount of food I've eaten in Kogi qualifies me to be given something, maybe a trip to see title. <laughs> Hallelujah. I love the body of Christ with all my heart. No resentment, no prejudice. I see a man of God, before I even know who you are and what you believe, you receive a big hug from me. How are you? You are hungry, sir. This is something to eat. Before I start finding out whether you believe whatever. You say, I believe in Jesus. I also believe in culture. I still love you, but would you want to look at it this way? Not, hey! I want, uh, blessed is the man who does not stand in the council of the weekend. I love people. There are Muslims seated here in this congregation, inside and outside, listening to me. And after service, they come and greet. I love them. That's how many of them have become born again. But whether or not they become born again, hating them. I love everybody. My neighbors, they are little children. When I see them, I, they just jump and come and hug me and I lift all of them. I don't care whether you are a Christian or this, you are a herbalist, whether there's a chap for you, that's not the issue. That's why God allowed me immune myself. I lift them and I'm happy and bless them. Change your outlook about the world. My world is a beautiful world. My world is not a world in crisis. Having enemies, church versus uh -uh. No. My world is a beautiful world. I love people. I don't resent people. I don't pride myself at the pain of people. Walls of pride and prejudice shall cease When we are your instruments of peace Lord makes us instruments of your peace Well, let your several files from different prayer groups in Zaria different ministries in Zaria man of God pray for us I'm praying with all my heart man of God we have a little program we need 10 naira okay I can help you with 2 naira I don't care whether you are with me I don't it's not my business the most important thing is I love you you love Jesus you are my friend you truly are my friend what a beautiful way to live this ugly resentful way the whole world will not become koinonia stop dreaming about it kingdom advancement is not establishing koinonia everywhere kingdom advancement is koinonia establishing christ everywhere are we together yes the mandate is extended by many of you here and many ministries that will come out of here that's true kingdom advance not an advancement of one person's agenda and ideology but an advancement of his kingdom and it's a privilege to contribute the quota that your ministry or whatever platform can bring in kingdom advance i love the body i honor the husband and i honor his wife i honor the husband christ i honor his wife the ecclesia 
I honor the bride of Christ. I will never resent the bride of Christ. Though wounded, she still deserves my honor. Though in ignorance in many areas, she still deserves my honor. Are we together? I meet a man of God somewhere. I greet him whether I know you or not. Oh, you're a pastor. God bless you. Where? What are you doing? Oh, I'm a pastor with this and that and that and that. Oh, really? Oh, that's nice. How are you? Oh, I'm a pastor with deeper life. Ah, how is our father, Papa Kumui? Oh, you know Papa Kumui. I love him with all my heart. Oh, I'm a member of MFM. Really? How is our father, Daniel Lukoya? Ah, he's this. I mean, you love him. Really? Are you a member of MFM? No, not exactly, but it's our fathers. They bless us. A child receives from anywhere his father is. That's the body of Christ. Are we together? How are you? Oh, you are a winner. Yes, God bless you. Oh, I was blessed by Papa Oyedepo's message. I was so blessed. Are we together? Every, it doesn't matter what fellowship I can preach there. It doesn't matter what ministry I can preach. I remember when the Anglican Communion invited me. They forgot that I was a seminarian. Ah. I saw, I think it was the vicar. He was so happy when I was reciting the Apostles' Creed. And I was talking and you know, ah, he was so impressed. And after the meeting, they loved me with all his heart. And I greeted him, appreciated him. I love people with all my heart. You don't pray in tongues, no problem, I love you. You are limited by your understanding. I pray that you improve, but no problem. I love you. Are we together? That's what Jesus taught us. Now listen to me. I was sharing again with my friend this afternoon. Correcting the body of Christ is an office. Not everybody has the authorization to correct the body. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Correcting the body is an office. The same way, if, come, Emeka is writing his last exam in a few weeks and you'll be a full doctor. Huh? It's already, a, it's just to, for them, to all of them, see our, our doctor people there. I mean, we have so many doctors, children sick, while prayer is going, injection is coming here, attacking from every angle. I tell you, divine health is going to be here for a very long time. It has come here to stay. Praise God. Now watch this. If I am sick, will I allow any roadside, these guys that sell pharmacies on, they sell drugs on, on one box on their head that they can mix everything. Will I allow that person to treat me? I go to an authorized person. What authorized him? There is an association. When he writes his final exam, he's going to be officially authorized to practice medicine. Is that true? Yes correcting do you think god will create a body and not allocate the doctors that take care of it are we together the same way you have lecturers that teach the mind of that body you have doctors coming to correct the body is an office one of the first requirements to be qualified to collect to correct the body is that you must love the body without reservation the whole body must be loved without reservation to end the right to correct her. Help that person under the anointing. The moment, listen, 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 let me have your attention here. The moment you do not love the body, you cannot effectively correct the body. If this guy is a pastor, come Mike, and Mike is a pastor, XYZ Ministries International, ABC ministries international and i come i'm a pastor i don't like what mike is doing i already have a bias i can never correct it in truth are we together but i can stand here loving the body and when i say mike i think um you are supposed to put your hand this way not this way i do it in love are we together the context of my communication shows that i love mike genuinely and I seek with all my heart to see him rise. Hallelujah. I rebuke many of you here. Sometimes I come to preach and the series can be fire. You know, there are series that I hammer. As soon as they finish preaching, your body is just shaking and you can't wait for the grace so that you quietly go. No matter how hard I am on you, 
you discern my heart and know that there's love there are men of God you shout at members like that next Sunday you have empty pews but when they know that you love them I rebuke people I rebuke the workers I rebuke worship team worship team I love you people with all my heart but there are times that they deserve rebuke and what does a good leader do you rebuke them to the gravity that will create the effect but they know I love them I rebuke all kinds of people protocol everywhere so you don't come and just begin to lambast the body of Christ tear down every ministry tear down every man of God carry the baby and the bad water and the bad water mix everything together and throw them no if my leg is wounded don't insult my head my head is still good appreciate the fact that I bab well it's just that there's wound on my leg and then bring bandage and treat it don't keep pointing and say ah you mean this big injury is on your leg how can such a good head have bad leg you are not solving the problem bring a bandage I wrote a song years ago the bandage is larger than the wound powerful song one day I will, I will play this keyboard by myself and sing it are we together now bandage the wound and say father thank you for the privilege your head is good but this is where the problem is and I come as a member of the body too and I remedy you and two weeks later the wound is healed and he's standing the church is stronger the body is stronger Christ is exalted it's only in the church that we destroy our wounded soldiers a man of God serves a ministry for many years and an issue comes around his life and the people he has served for many years turn against him as if he became a devil in one month no sir no sir I manage a lot of cases between men of God and sometimes I see the bleeding that comes from them they serve people with all their heart and maybe sometimes something happened around their life that you know destroyed their ministry or whatever it is and you see the resentment my prayer for you is that you become the arm that can wipe the tears of people that every time people are crying they say I know that Pastor Alpha is a prayer warrior. He's a revelation giant, but he's also a loving hand. What a good testimony. Jesus said, let the little children come. The children were running to Jesus. And all of a sudden, said, guy, guy, leave me alone. He, he's, he's, he has finished fasting. Allow him. And Jesus said, yeah, who taught you this? Let the little children come to me and do not despise them for for such is the king. I have come to seek and save the lost I have come as a man of God when I when I travel and go to regions many times pastors come from other cities to come you know just in honor of the meeting and I look at their faces I see some already intimidated I see some standing and I am very quick to honor all of them I come to them and I say men of God I love you I honor you I have not come to outshine you I know you have listened to my messages don't be intimidated I am here to lift up your hand I am here you are already doing something great I don't go to a city and destroy what the people are doing there I go to a city and I tell them look you are doing something great and I'm here to lift up your hands so that Jesus will be seen you don't come and open a shop near another believer and as soon as you open a shop near that believer you just sit down go and bring oil go and bring water go and bring this and pour it and say you will see you will know that the god of my of apostle joshua say you will know there's fire in this coin on you wait and see your shop and then the person's shop is going down and you are laughing say see i told you this anointing works in this ministry you are an immature believer an accident happens ten members eight die and the only two members that survive are the members of your church and then they come and say everybody died except us remember that prophecy that papa gave us and and the, and, 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 and an immature man of god is happy the death of eight believers is a setback to kingdom advance we must have a corporate heart are we together now i was asking i was asking him uh, about the, the flood in benway state and what is going on because my heart I've just been thinking about the people there and I was telling him I said look 
Benway has tried for years to bring me by God's grace I would I should try to visit that land next year and we're just talking and those of you listening from Benway I love you uh, it's not my my intention not to have come and trust me next year in the name of Jesus Christ next year Benway should be part of the itinerary let's let's go there and contribute to the great things that they are doing there whenever you approach ministry as a contribution in addition to what God is already doing you become loved you become valued and every man of God within that territory loves you but when you go to a territory and push everybody away as though you are doing nonsense you are not even praying in tongues and you are a pastor you are not even this and that you are not collecting offering in your church eh? you are not you approach the pulpit with a heart of love you bless people seated in this place are mighty men and women of God they come quietly to sit down while the meeting is up after service there are many people who have traveled from many regions I don't stand Joshua Selman this is him in case you have heard about him this is Apostle Joshua Selman yes bring your demons bring your sickness no 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 it's a privilege of his grace I will never take for granted I'm nothing without you it's grace your grace shines on me it's your grace your grace I'm nothing without you pastors of fellowships and groups learn it never make your fellowship a place that divides the body are we together call to order people whose lives have a track record of the no 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 especially some of us who are younger coming up in ministry we have hardly seen anything and we are already sustaining this bossy attitude no sir no sir I've shared about my love and honor for CGC. The, the leadership of CGC, I say it in the open. The CGC represents the most humble set of ministers I have seen in all my life till date. Truly speaking, truly speaking. I have never, never seen men of God so anointed together with their wives. The mama of CGC is such a humble woman. Mommy will see me like this and left for her. A woman that is old enough to be my mother how many times? Mommy will want to kneel down. I know what some of you will do. You will stand and say, well, mommy, I, I, let me tell you how it is. You won't look for it, but if it comes, you will enjoy it. You are still a criminal. It's, listen, it's like buying alcohol or you are given. A drunkard is one who drinks alcohol, not ones who drink by buying with his money. Whether you are given as a gift, it is the act of drinking alcohol that makes you a drunkard. A wise person. Just because they acknowledge you and they come, ah, apostle, sir, and the woman, eh, my mother, wanting to kneel down for me, and then I stupidly stand there and I, no, I will join her and kneel down. She kneels down and will lie down and roll. I say, mommy, let's, let's roll on the floor there. Some of us are already receiving that. You, your appetite for outshining is almost a cancer. You don't search for it by yourself. But when it comes, you don't mind. Where is the apostle? Where is he? That guy? That's it? Yes, apostle. Joshua Selman. And in case you doubt that I'm anointed, give me five minutes. Let me handle the mic. That's not a person that will last. If it means God taking the ministry from me to retain the humility he has given me, it's a worthy bargain. I will give up koinonia a thousand times to maintain my work with God and to maintain the life. Humility has blessed me more than financial intelligence. It has given me access to the hearts of people. There is nothing as beautiful 
as someone highly anointed and truly humble not fake humility that is, is just no 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 humility that is based on revelation i love the body of christ i love the church of the lord jesus in zaria every time i pass around and i see different prayer groups prayer cells different people i see a lot of you know our some of them are brethren here some of them have crusades in different lands we just i think there was a crusade conducted recently in gombe you know i am excited seeing the people that god has granted grace to raise doing a lot of things i'm not pushing them and say who oh, no it should be only me only me no only you is this is that one is is just culture we bring our cultural limitations mix it with the anointing and make it look like it's the holy spirit that is responsible for all that outcome no sir let's separate between the limitations that came from our personal sense of poor esteem i love it when i see god lift people i love it when i see god use people during the school of ministry i was at the, their practicum i was seated outside and i was almost shedding tears I was watching as great men and women powerful people dispensing truth i sat down the reason why i left this place and i sat down outside was i didn't want them to be conscious of the fact that i'm there and then be conscious of not i i wanted them to just have their way and minister and what a powerful meeting it was for me it's a pride for many men of god is an intimidation no 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 let's let's clamp these people down very soon before they outshine <laughs> No. honor is a mantle if it's on you it's on you shines on me shines on me i'm everything with you shines on me shines on me it's your grace shines on me Shines on me, I'm everything with you. Shines on me, shines on me, it's your day. A man of God sent me a text a few weeks ago. I think armed robbers entered and I think it's a small church somewhere. I don't know if it's in Abuja or Nasarawa State. And he sent me a text. He said, man of God, I don't know you. But armed robbers just entered, they stole some of their gadgets. You know, I'm sure maybe the church was not secured and all of that. I didn't have to ask, who are you? What, what church do you belong to? What do you believe? Do you listen to my message or not? That's, that was none of my business. Sir, really? Ah, I called him. How are you, sir? Let me pray for you. I hope they didn't hurt anybody. Where is the church? I pray for you with all my heart in the name of Jesus. Please send me your account number. Whatever little I can send. If it cannot be enough to buy a speaker, at least you can buy a recharge card and make calls. Cheer up. Don't worry. Father, strengthen this brother in the faith. The devil has come to discourage him. But my brother, I encourage you. Stand strong. Oh, apostle, you have been a mentor to me. That's not the issue. I'm praying for you now. The loss of one is the loss of the body. The gain of one is the gain of the body. Lift your voice as you are seated and cry for the grace. A baptism of love for the body. I'm not doubting your love for God. But your love for the body. I show you why you are not seeing miracles in your life. I show you why there are certain levels of investments that you may not see. I show you why God may not be able to trust you with blessings for the body. Lord, I love your body. Ah, I love your body. I love every church. I love every denomination. I love every man of God. There may be difference in belief systems. There may be difference in values. Our levels of alignment may differ. Our levels of spiritual results may differ. But I love what you are doing in Nigeria. The church in Nigeria is not dead. The church in Nigeria is not weak. She can't be better. But Christ is in the midst of our church. The perfecter of the bride. 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 Inside, outside, make sure you are praying. The perfecter of the bride. Hallelujah. We are soon going to stand up, but I'm going to give you one more prayer point. I'd like you to pray. 
and say lord the spirit of sarcasm and resentment take it out of me i didn't even know when it entered me i laugh at men of god i laugh at business people i laugh at other tribes anyone who is not yoruba i laugh at them and resent them anyone who is not evil i laugh at them and resent them anyone who is not a northerner anyone who is not a christian any muslim i see i hate it no sir no sir no sir jesus taught us to love jesus taught us to love it's one way we allow the purposes of god to be preserved that the church within a territory is known for love not hate not hate hallelujah listen we are going to pray brothers and sisters look at me if it is authentic power you want if it is grace and anointing you want more than fasting and more than prayer you must love his body you cannot love a husband and hate his wife you are a hypocrite I cannot love a Jimmy and hate hope I cannot love pastor Alpha and hate and it doesn't work that way when you love a man you love his wife if you love Christ the head of the church then you must love his bride yes still getting perfected yes with many mistakes in the midst of her yes with many scandals in the midst of her yes with many people blindly refusing dimensions of God but you must love people I love every man of God I love every pastor I love every leader in Zaria across this nation I love them I watch television and I see different preachers across different channels manifesting what they know and understand by the, the kingdom in many ways and I see a lot of things I have my reservation but I love them in spite I love all of them with all my heart the same way many people love me in spite of my own imperfections in spite of my own limitations they overlook the excellence level of our messages some messages are not very clear they overlook it and focus on what God is doing that is the same way you must sow that same seed of love you can't be resentful over everybody are we together yes the lady did not cover her hair okay it's all right reserve your reservation about your concept there but it's not enough reason to hate oh the lady covered her hair ah i don't believe in covering of hair no problem but it's not enough reason to go around hating people no sir we must love the body when we do this as a territory you will see revival break out in zaria and from zaria across every part one worship minister will finish worshiping and hug the other one and give him the mic with joy not give him the mic like you have come to stop me from shining no the body think kingdom not koinonia think kingdom think body not joshua selman thank god for the honor thank god for the loyalty based on administration but if you want to be effective in the kingdom you must think beyond me you must think beyond koinonia you must think kingdom and the purposes of god hold hands together Though we are many, we are one body, we are one body in Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, we are one body in Christ. One more time, let it be a song of love and unity. Though we are many. for Christians, a love for Muslims, a love for traditional worshippers, a love for any and everybody. Place a love for Yoruba people, a love for Igbo people, a love for Northern people. Lift your voice and pray. Grace to love. 
prophetic seasons of greatness this new season is a greatness is a is a level of greatness and prosperity you will enter a level of financial prosperity that will surprise you and will surprise all around you the Lord is determined to do it bless his hands oh God may this be so in his life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands. The power of God is strong in this place. Lord, we give you praise. Visit us, O God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit us by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let your healing virtue, let your grace, let everything that you have, let the dense weight of your person come upon us in mighty ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, my God, help me. Just play the keyboard for me. And then let's trust God for a great time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting tonight's meeting in a very strange way instrumentalist let's work together now hallelujah please hurry up as soon as you get down your name just return there will be a very mighty impartation in this place hallelujah not deliverance impartation God is going to be moving in a very strong way and it's going to be bringing strong impartation upon people. It's going to be a wildfire of the spirit. Hallelujah. Strings, please. Exalted high above the worship of the people of the year. I see the Lord. He's the Lamb upon the throne. Please, everyone, lift your hands inside and outside. Lift it as high as you can lift it. Lift your hands. Listen. Listen, please. The Spirit of God is in this place. Hallelujah. And the angels of the Lord, please don't stop playing are in this place this is a very very prophetic moment now the lord is going to be moving from inside and outside and he's going to be separating certain people this is not deliverance although that can happen this is a heavy impartation 
the weight of God is about to mantle people in very strong ways. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Father, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus, all those who belong to this category, in the name that is above all names, lift your hands. My God, Lord, at the count of three, let there be a wild move of the Spirit. One, two, three. Shekete, rekete teketa, no kompreteskete, lekete rebos outside. Bring them out. Bring them out. Touch an impartation of fire. Let there be a separation. Retekete, rekete skoposata. Separate them, oh God. Separate them, oh God. Outside, the power of God is falling now. Outside, is hitting men right now. Like a tornado. Outside, outside. There are angels outside. The power of God is falling like a wildfire. A separation, a separation. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. It's a separation, a wild fire. Let it engulf them, oh God. Let it burn. Let the call from the throne. Let the call from the throne. Let it come upon visitors. Lord, those who are visiting in Koinonia, may they take the fire now. May the visitors take the fire now. So there are angels outside. I tell you, there is a move of fire all across the first overflow at the back the overflow at the back outside the overflow at the back outside the fire of god is falling the overflow at the back outside the fire of god is falling there's an army rising up there's an army rising up there's an army rising There's an army rising up, come on. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. Shake it, break it, break it. your hands God is not done yet I told you there will be a visitation listen at the count of three many people will enter visionary experiences right now vision vision one two three take it take it vision vision take it take it vision I open up prophetic realms take it take it Visions, visions, visions. Hey, 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 hey. Step into realms of visions, prophecy, visions, prophecy. I ignite fire. Hallelujah. 
visions 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 look at me look at me take it now in this row an angel is walking in this row this row now now this row take it 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 now There's an army rising up. There's an army rising. They are rising up. Break every chain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. HOD, step into new levels of grace, two of you. Take it. Take it now. Goodness. The power of God is strong upon me. Gande la kata te kata, rakata bande brende keta, so prote bende ke, rekete skete, rekete, 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 rekete te te, e prote sko prekete, rekete. The hand of the Lord is upon me. The hand of the Lord is upon me. Repos kete da. Let the Spirit of God move in power. Break chains. Get it, get it, leba, 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 leba. Make it, 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 there is a road that the power of God is moving outside there is a road outside it will start with a lady there is a lady right now under the power of God and it will follow to that road Open the floodgates of heaven, O oh God. Hallelujah. All of you in this front row, just hold your hands. Just this row looking at me. Hold your hands. Lift it up. Father, let it come like a mighty wind. Take it now. 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 Soto preteke teteja. Repeteke teteteva. Som preteke chala ba 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 ba. Let it come like fire. Yeah. Sarah, Sarah, 
The Lord is giving me the name of someone, Sarah. Sarah. Just leave them, don't worry. Don't, don't scatter what God is doing. Hallelujah. God is bringing deliverance to your family. Hold my hands. It ends now. Now! 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 Be delivered. I cast that devil. I cast that devil by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We will have a visitation tonight. Lift your hands. I want to call spirits that are responsible for marital delay. Every spirit wife, every spirit husband, many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you. Some of you are already out. You came out for impartation. Lift your hands. At the count of three, the fire of the spirit will be separating men. Every devil causing delay in marriage at the count of three. I want you to shout the name Jesus. Lord, as they shout Jesus, I expose every devil and it leaves them forever. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Be free now. Now. I call spirits. I call spirits. Marital delay. I call spirits. Every marital delay. I curse you. I open doors of marriages now. Doors of marriage be open. Every spell, every enchantment, every act of divination. Right now, I set you on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire. On fire, on fire now. I challenge altars. I challenge thrones. I challenge spells. We break every chain. 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 Break every chain. Break every chain. Let her go now. Go. Let her go now. Go. Be free. Lay your hands on your stomach. God is setting you free. The devil must let you go. There's someone in this room where I'm standing. The power of God will come upon you now. Somebody in this room, a strong anointing will come upon that person. Please speak that person right now. It's coming by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's one person. It's a deliverance fire. It will fall on you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Pick the person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone holding like a child outside. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me in a vision. Please pick them inside. I'm seeing someone. It's like you're holding. Is it a child I'm seeing? Is there such person like that? Please. Who is that? Come, 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 come. Please. Save time. We have to minister to other people. There's this lady standing close to you. That lady. 
Yes, with white head tie. My dear, it's time. Lift your hands where you are. Visit her now, oh God. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I cast that wicked spirit in the name of Jesus. Listen. Those of you here, just lift your hands. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. There will be a wild move of the spirit because I see a lot of demonic oppressions. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Let the power of God move. Move right now. Move right now. Move right now. I cause every power. I cause every power. Bring them in. Let her go now to break every chain. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? At times like this, she does. This is demonic oppression. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Is she okay? She's not okay. Look at me. Hold my hands. Satan, let her go now. Look at what is happening. Are you seeing this? Look at the spirit tormenting her. Let her go. Let your legs be stretched now. Look at what is happening to the legs. Is the camera watching? Watch this. This is the power of God by itself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. 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 Watch this. Look at her deliverance. Out. Out of her now. Out. Out, out, kate paratapa. I return her back to sanity. Every madness out of her now. Excuse me. Every madness out, out. Never returns. I see an altar on fire. This is what I'm seeing. This is what is responsible. Let me tell you. Every altar speaking against everyone tonight. It will catch fire this night in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Leave her. Stand up. Stand up and follow me. Stand up by yourself and follow me. Stand up. Come, follow me. Stand up. Walk. Shake it, tete, ba, 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 ba. Come. Come. Come on, can you sing? I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. Every madness of the devil has to find its way. I hear the chains falling. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. At, look at what look at what the devil has done to this lady huh? look at are you seeing for meeting look at the things that the devil has done bastardize this lady's life look at me what's your name Lester. what's your name Lester. what's your name Lester. say Jesus. Jesus say I am fine she literally ate her mouth and injured it like that look at you can see where the skin was taken. Look at me. Follow me. Say, I am fine. I'm fine. Say, I'm fine. I'm fine. It never returns to you again. <laughs> Stretch your hands and say, it's over. <laughs> this deliverance is over. <laughs> if there is any other person with any sign of madness in this place or any kind of psychosomatism, be free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Look at me. The demons that torment you have left you and will never return to you again. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
I want to pray for you. Please take her child. This is, I'm seeing witchcraft. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. People will rise in the family. When they get to a point, something hits them down. And that's the end of it. No matter what happens. This is what the Lord is showing me. But the Lord is going to bring deliverance. Please lift your hands. Because this is, I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft. My God and my King, let this thing end right now. Because this thing is not just with you alone. It's with your family members. My God, let it end now. Let it end now. Even to your husband. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her. Out of her. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Madam, this is your child. Please hold, hold the child. Where is your husband? Eh? Where is he? He's in summer. What's he doing? We have to pray for him. You know why I asked? I'm seeing the spirit of death. Huh? I'm seeing a man holding, and please, if I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. I'm seeing a man holding like chalk. Huh? It's chalk, writing. As in his writing. Is he a teacher? He's a lecturer. lecturer. He's a lecturer. This is death coming on him. And we have to break it. Are you getting that now? Do you believe it? If you don't believe, I will just leave you before you now turn and say this person. The reason why we say this is because I understand that there are all kinds of perverted visions and revelations and corruption of the prophetic so everybody that seems to reveal something people just think that ah this person has done this and that are you getting my point now i must not see god must not show me what is happening to her husband for him to be delivered i hope you know that the word of god is potent enough to deliver the person you understand but god does these things as a sign and a wonder hallelujah a family is about to be delivered right now in the name of the Lord Jesus a family is about to be delivered right now be delivered now I'm not speaking out now I hear the chains falling two of you come are you related come 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 two of you yes what's your relationship eh is your boss you are learning to sew in his place don't laugh I don't mean love relationship I mean what's your relationship huh because I saw the clothes I'm wearing on you suddenly. Are you getting my point now? God is just delivering people. Out! Let her go. Our uh, ushers, you are still not exempted. Be doing your work and be sensitive. Anything can happen to you. Be doing your work and be very, very, please, everybody be sensitive. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. You will experience dramatic increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hold your hands together. There's witchcraft in your family. Wait. Yes, sir. It's true. There's everybody. It's not like every. This is death. This is delay marriage. La Wait now. Calm down. God is going to set you free. Huh? Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Try to look at me. Do your best. Do your very best. He's unable to look at me just because it's an instruction. It's not like it's any herbal thing. God is setting you free. A habit is leaving you and a curse is leaving you. You look at me, do your best. Lord, I attack witchcraft to its root.
out. Something's moving, something's changing. She is lonely, feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. over your husband in the name of the Lord Jesus every spirit of death by the blood we command that you leave him in the name of Jesus none shall die in the name of Jesus Christ come sign up it's time for God to step into your family run and come see I don't need to call you just connect by faith God is already touching people and families. Are you getting my point now? Financial increase is coming to your family. Take it now. Financial increase, mighty increase coming to your family. That's what the Lord is telling me. Mighty increase. I break the limitation. The same thing is happening to that lady. That's why this is happening. Every other person, oh God, that you are bringing financial increase. I know everybody will be touched. Listen, when God does one and you see other people reacting, it's because it's the same prophecy. So let's just maximize what God is doing. Lift your hands. Father, everyone who belongs to this category, at the count of three, may the anointing to make it happen be released. One, two, three. Take it now. 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 Financial bondage. Broken. Outside. Broken. This is a cause of hardship. In the name of Jesus, let her go. I release her and her family. Out! Out! That cause of hardship. Out! The Lord is bringing increase for your father. I'm seeing traditional things. These are habal things I'm seeing in a shrine. The Lord is taking them away and bringing serious financial increase to your family lord confirm your word i've spoken as you have shown me let it be confirmed in the name of jesus this your baby please give somebody hold the baby take away this garment of shame over your life in the name of Jesus this garment of shame go be set free be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah who is Eunice 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 Lord is ministering to me. A lady called Eunice. Who is that? Please, if it's your name or someone related, we have to save time. Eunice. Gabriel. Gabriel. 
Gabriel. Gabriel. I'm seeing the last digits of a GSM number. 221. 221. That's the last digit of your phone number. 221. Who is that? You are the one? Do I know you? Okay, Gabriel. Okay. 221. Please, if that is yours, just come out. 221. The last digits. 221. Please verify. Don't come and tell us lies here. 221. That's what I'm seeing. It's like something covered the rest and I'm seeing 221. If that is yours, please come on. Gabriel, can I pray for you? Stand up, please, sir. What do you do? I'm an artist. Is that the only thing you do? Final department. Okay. I want to pray for you. Because what God is showing me, I'm not seeing you drawing. Huh? This is this is business I'm seeing. You look at me. Do you believe what I'm saying? I want to pray for you because things are tight for you right now. You're just looking, but things are not are really, really tight. Father, visit him. You called out Gabriel. Receive this visitation right now. In the name of Jesus. Your name is Gabriel too. Who is Adamu? Huh? It's a man in Kano. What? A man in Kano. Where do I know Adamu from? What's your relationship with Adamu? We work together. Work together. Is he a nice man? No. He's a wicked man. God is bringing justice to you. Hold my hands. Look at me. Have I met you? Do I know you? How do I know that there's a relationship between Gabriel and Adamu? Do you believe that God is setting you free? Father, like it was for Jacob and Laban, let there be justice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may there be mighty justice. Look, let me tell you, your life is about to change. It will shock you. Huh? But your relationship with God, did you, did you rededicate your life here? Do your own now. You are supposed to come out. Why did you stay back? This is what is giving legal access. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lift your hands. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I'm serious with my relationship with you. I make up my mind to stop playing games. From tonight, I'm a genuine child of God. Women, out of his life. Every spirit of immorality lost and every related thing i cost you be free my god will give you promotion that will honor you and lift him in jesus name why are you here why are they here what is eh? all of you are eunice is she married Is a garment of shame God is taking away from your life. Huh? You are a lady boy, it's like you are a man. Nobody is coming to you, nobody cares, nobody is even saying your hair is fine. We have to take this in away. Look at me, my dear. It's not normal. We have to curse it. Lord Jesus, help this lady now. I restore that glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I won't say it here, but be careful. Huh? Do you, do you understand what I'm saying, right? Do you understand? Please be very careful. The devil comes to steal, kill, and what? Destroy. But God shows you mercy and grace. Huh? Lay your hands on your stomach. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be perfection.
the Lord is not even talking about you. He's talking about your elder ones. I've seen them. It's because it's the same thing that is happening there. I've taught you people. Bring out. Lord, let it be over now. Lay your hands on my hands. Just lay your hands on my hands. It ends. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. I appoint unto you a season of liberty. In the name of the Lord Jesus. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. What is happening to you is happening to her. At the same time. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. It's the same thing that is happening to her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is going to do something strange in this place right now. All of you from Kogi State, lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your hands. This is a very strange instruction. There will be massive deliverance right now. Follow me, instrumentalist, please. At the count of three, this is a territorial deliverance. Lift your hands, please. Follow me, instrumentalist. One, every altar. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Shake it, 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 it. outside. I command the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. All the children that have been buried, the blood. Lord, in Kogi State, as you have shown me, every Kogi person, every altar against your life, catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Bring them out. Bring them out. Deliverance. Every altar, the children that have been buried, I command the earth, share ye the word of the Lord. I come with an apostolic territorial mantle. Let there be deliverance. Massive deliverance. Now, now, shut it, 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 it. I'm seeing snakes. I'm seeing snakes. All kinds of snakes. All kinds of snakes. This is what I'm seeing. They catch fire now. They catch fire now. Every serpent, every devil. I speak to shrines. I speak to altars. I speak to covens. By the anointing of the Spirit. For the Spirit of the Lord. Tonight is upon me. I challenge you. I command an exodus. An exodus. An exodus. you will hear testimonies they will carry the dead bodies of men those who are found they will carry dead bodies of witches and wizards that will not let you go I command
command the vengeance of God let the dagger of judgment fall upon every shrine let the dagger of God's judgment I command it if I be an apostle of God I command it Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Come on, lift your hands and worship. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. You have won it all for me. Hallelujah. Everyone who is sick, lay your hands there right now. For time's sake, we may not have everyone come on, but lay your hands something miraculous will happen in this place right now wherever you are lay your hands some you're laying your hands but what is if it's in an area that you cannot lay your hands just lay your hands on your chest hallelujah now listen listen the moment i pray for you the power of god is already healing people right now check yourself the moment you find out that the miracle is happening to you maybe not everybody just run out and come and stand here there will be an explosion of miracles you must celebrate what God is doing who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when my God has not established hallelujah lay your hands now and while Jesus was teaching the power of God was present to heal the Bible says and when the evening was come they brought unto him all that were sick and crippled and oppressed please take it serious this is a miracle service we don't fake it in this place a miracle is about to happen as I begin to command please check yourself start doing what you could not do this is the point where your faith is needed hallelujah in the name of Jesus the son of the living God and by the mystery of the blood that pays the price for the ransom of anything in the spirit the blood is a receipt that can pay for anything in the spirit and lord i pray right now as i begin to declare i want you to shout a loud amen miracles are already happening in the name of jesus blind eyes be open now blind eyes every eye condition be healed now be healed now every kind of deafness complete or partial deafness be healed now be healed now god is touching people peptic ulcer be healed now be healed now peptic ulcer Peptic ulcer, you will feel like fire burning on your chest right now. That's ulcer being healed. God is healing ulcer. Ulcer, you will feel fire burning on your chest. Ulcer is being healed right now. I give you the praise. I give you the praise. I give you the praise. Lump in the breast. Lump in the breast. The right breast. Lump in the right breast is being healed now lump is being healed now i cost that spirit i cost that spirit 
by the prophetic word. This lady is going to start coughing things out. She's going to start coughing things out right now. She will start coughing things out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Migraine headache. Every kind of migraine. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Every respiratory condition, someone is going to feel something jump out of your chest now. Every respiratory condition, heart condition, breathing problem, I command the spirit, leave now. Leave now. Those outside, make sure you are connected. Leave now. In the name of Jesus. There are so many ladies with so much pain even if you are not on your period your stomach I cause that pain together with all kinds of menstrual pain menstrual pain of all sorts go now go now go now menstrual pain is of the devil I don't care what medicine says go now 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 irregular period the lord is healing that now right now there's a lady you've been on your period for two months non-stop it dries up now now and there's a lady from november last year you don't need to come out from november last year You've only seen your period twice. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I restore order to your body. Now, I restore order. The power of God is moving to this effect. I restore order now. Now. Hallelujah. Please begin to check yourself. Begin to check yourself. A tooth problem has been healed I give you the praise Lord a tooth ache tooth problem serious tooth problem the Lord is healing it right now right now right now right now Lord let every healing every healing hallelujah now I really want to conserve time I'm just thinking since Pastor Jake is here we can lay hands faster on the sick do I need to call the sick to come out is that a good idea answer now let's work together because I know there are people you are still not satisfied okay please and please if you've been healed just stay back especially for our guests who are coming here for the first time and then a few others if you check your body and you see that you are still sick and you need the touch of God please come out and line up healing thank you Jesus worship rain is falling down healing rain is falling down I'm not afraid I'm not afraid Brought, who brought our daddy? He came on his own. He came on his own. What's wrong, sir? Difficult in walking. Difficult in walking. Your leg? What happened, sir? I just feel, one day I just feel like they are past me. I can't weak. Your leg is weak. I'm going to pray for you, daddy. And Jesus will heal you right now. 
Hold my hand, sir. Don't worry, just sit down. Thank you, Jesus. The power of God will start moving your leg. Lord, thank you for healing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse that spirit. You see something happening to your leg? You're feeling something happening to your leg, right? Yes. The power of God is moving. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Christ of God. Daddy, look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, stand up. Come, come, come. Help him, help him. This is stroke. This is stroke. In the name of Jesus, I curse it. I curse it. I curse it. Sir, at the count of three, lift up both of your hands. One, two, three. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. That stroke hand, I curse it in the name of Jesus. Daddy, try walking. Come, hold my hands. Follow me. Come, come. Look at me. Look at me. Come, come. Just do what I'm doing. Do what I'm doing. Come on now. Look at God giving the miracle. In the name of Jesus. Are you seeing the power of God now? only as God healed you daddy God is going to restore to you every worm has eaten everything the palmer worm has eaten because the Lord is showing me that the enemy would have taken your life first week of October they would have buried you first week of October this is what the Lord is showing me but in the name that is above all names four years, four years now for four years this has been the devil had wanted to destroy you i'm saying first week of october they would have buried you but in the name that is above all names the bible says the heaven of the heavens belong to the lord but the earth has he given so all oh earth i forbid you from taking this man's body in the name of jesus he will live long he will live strong and for every one of you praying for him may your family members live long in the name of the Lord Jesus daddy we are going to walk one more time look at look at he's so excited to the shame of the devil to the shame of the devil to the shame of the devil come and walk again daddy walk hallelujah hallelujah please take him to his seat the Lord perfects him in the name of Jesus worship him help us let's save him Every 
You are not the only one. All the people in your family that came, come and stand here. This is witchcraft. Come and stand here. This is not sickness. What a mighty God we serve. Please hurry up. Just save our time, please. The creator of heaven and earth. Set the whole family free. Kai, this is witchcraft. Acute witchcraft. You know you need a miracle, right? Huh? You came here trusting God. Huh? What did the doctors tell you? Wait now. I need to pray for you. Huh? The leg issue is a simple issue. If I don't pray for you, they are going to diagnose you with cancer. Huh? Cancer of the breast. Cancer of the breast now. It's cancer. This is what I'm telling you. If we don't destroy it now, this is cancer of the breast. It's witchcraft. Huh? It's okay. Don't cry. Please. Please. We don't have handkerchief here. Handkerchief. Oh, please. Madam, listen. I told you he's dead. Where is, where is your husband? husband is dead. husband is dead. Where is your mother? My mother is dead. They've, uh, wait, I'm showing you that this is witchcraft. They want to kill everybody in your family. Huh? They want your son. Where is your son? My senior brother. Wait, who? He's paralyzed completely. If there is a God in heaven, hear me. If there is God in this place tonight, your deliverance comes. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Hold my hands. Jesus, change their story. Let the speaking blood speak right now. In the name of Jesus, I break the chains of witchcraft. Please help this woman with a handkerchief. Anybody, anybody, please. There is a God, you will return back to this place to testify. I cause cancer now, 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 out of her body by the power of the Holy Ghost. Cancer dies now, together with the leg issue. Your leg will start moving now, supernaturally by itself. 
your leg will start moving under the influence of the spirit and that evil thing upon your leg leaves you forever baby hold my hands Look at this innocent girl. Look at this girl. Where's the camera? When you look at this girl, you see a walking corpse. Do you understand? I'm seeing a coffin in the spirit. They have finished this girl since last year. This girl you are seeing. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus said it. Is there anything too hard for me to do I am that I am Father change this girl's story I bring you out of the valley of the shadow of death in the name of Jesus Christ out now out now out now In the name of Jesus I change the story of this family now whatever legal access the devil has over your family we lift up the blood as the price for your ransom therefore we command your exodus now the same thing is happening to someone here exodus now everyone marked for death I command your exodus now everyone marked for death everyone marked for death i command your exodus now in the name of jesus let's save time thank you jesus free she's in the hospital set her free
saying she must die who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it he said no witchcraft no enchantment against Jacob shall stand see don't let all this nonsense voice is when you don't know who you are I think we are going to sing that song chosen generation we need to shout it to the devil that we are not confused worship it are you ready now give us that song Sing anything, even if you don't know the fashion. Just sing the one you know. Are you ready now? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Don't tempt me in the name of Jesus. Don't tempt me. O tu akachi neke. Not my fault. Sam is not around. Yeah. Jehovah will give you all the Worship team, drama, be careful in Jesus' name. Hey, if we don't finish here on time, you will sleep here. Oh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the king. <laughs> Mommy, be healed. Every planting that is not of God, we uproot it now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be free. Every growth in your body dissolves and passes out of this body. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Do you have your prayer request? Please start submitting it. Usher, start getting a prayer request. Prayer requests are very important. They are not a formality. If you've not written it, now is the time. Send a text to your loved one. And say, send it fast. There is a God that answers prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to say, yes, he is mighty to say, be healed now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus is great in this place. Please write out your prayer requests. Don't spare anything. Hallelujah. Please, I want to pray. I want to lay hands on all the children all the little children from age 1 to 10 just 1 to 10 if you are more than 10 keep them 1 to 10 please bring them out 1 to 10 mothers if you are tired give somebody to hold the child and come with it please just hurry up let's save time while we collect it please if you are not interested, you can sit back, please. Bring all the children. We must lay hands. Ah, that's a baby. Teach me how to hold them. 
before I strangle the neck of this baby. <laughs> Come and hold the mic for me. Let me do serious business here. The baby has small nose like you. Hold on. Baby, we prayed for your arrival. Oh. Every barren woman in this place, stand up. Everybody stand up. Ah! I use Wumi as a point of contact. I'm very serious now. Every family here trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Shake up at the balada bagada belly. Rete le banda brandosco parada balata skepetica. God is breaking barrenness. The same God that brought this baby. The Bible says, Children are a heritage from the Lord. My God, I pray. I cause barrenness to its root now. In the name of Jesus. Baby, may you be strong. May you grow to be a beautiful and a godly girl. We separate you in advance from destiny killers. Wolves in sheep's clothing. May they never find you in the name of Jesus. All those who are determined to destroy the life of visionary people, they will never find this baby in the name of Jesus. I'm going to lay hands on every one of this child. I want you to help me. If you know that you are a mother or a father, or you plan to be a mother or a father, even if you don't plan, just join us. Hallelujah. Many of you are, especially those of you who are trusting God for marriage this year. I hope you know the year is still young. Is this all the faith you brought for this meeting? Now is the time to believe God and stretch your hands and say, Lord, as you did it to them. I didn't say, come out, oh. Don't worry, immediately I finish. All those who are trusting God for marriage this year, if you think you are bold enough and you are not ashamed, immediately after this, march out and stand. Don't be ashamed of anybody. Don't let anybody look. I'm serious. Hold on. If you know you have a lot to do in your destiny, you are a hundred level and you just come and march out here. Please, we are not playing jamboree here. I know there are men of God that do we are acting based on instruction. Make sure your father and your mother will smile when you tell them you are ready to get married. Don't cause anything that will come and disgrace the name of the Lord. Praise God. All of you stretch your hands. It's amazing. Let me challenge men. I don't see any father standing here. And I if I remember very well, I know that Mary was the only woman who just gave birth like that without a man. Fathers, men. Every gentleman say, say myself behave. Say it myself behave. When it comes to responsibility, many men leave the women. But if the baby takes first, you are the one who wants to go to the school. Ladies, say I refuse. Stretch your hands. Let's pray for them. Every blessing you know you would give your child, release it to them. Pastor Jakes, please, let's lay hands on them. Father, we lay hands on these children. Every spell, name of the Lord Jesus, everything that makes your brain dull, we command that you are not dull. In the name of Jesus Christ, bring her please in the name of jesus christ baby grow in the fear of the lord in the name of jesus christ hallelujah 
now if you know honestly please don't play games with god here you know that you are trusting god to settle down maritally in this 2014 come out and stand here please we are not playing games i am very very serious about it God is a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. He is a glorious God. God is I know you are a miracle walker. God is a glorious Sing it one more time. You are ready to marry this year? Are you joking? Eh? You are standing in for somebody. Okay. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. We are young people, but it doesn't mean we are indisciplined. Are you getting my point now? Now look up. I want to say something very important. Some of you standing here are the enemies of your own marriages. Hallelujah. Gideon said, why have we not seen these manifestations? He said, destroy the altars. Any ungodly relationship that you are in, that is stopping your life partner from coming. We break it from the realm of the spirit now. May that married man never call you again. I know you have been getting money from him. But the relationship is hereby declared none and void. You must choose to walk in holiness and integrity. Hallelujah. There are people standing here that there are powers and thrones. Please lift your hands. And horns that attempt to lift themselves against your marriage. You are a very pretty lady. But nobody can look at you. The moment a guy looks at you and is trying to talk to you, something just happens and scatters it. There are some of us, you are guys. You are, you are a hard-working and disciplined person. But the moment any lady comes to you, today she says she's, she's serious. After one week, there are some of you people come and they die. Some of you have even had introduction and the guy ran away. But in the name that is above all names. Listen, this is an apostolic ministry. We are not ashamed. The Bible says I am not ashamed of the gospel. Every aspect of the gospel that brings freedom. We will preach it and we will set people free. Lift your hands. You will be very surprised. I said it at the beginning of the year. That God told me there will be surprise marriages. Even people who did not believe and expect. Listen. Let me give you a revelation. My Bible says male and female he created them. What and what? Did he say female and female? Did he say male and male? That means, ladies, there is a male counterpart for you. You believe that? I'm going to pray for the man, not a man. Are you getting me? Not one man meandering around and you say, let me manage, time is going. No. You can read a course you don't like and manage for five years and leave. You cannot manage marriage. Lift your hands. Let's first destroy these altars of Baal. See that, Ababa. Get ready. Because the power of God is about to shatter spells into pieces. Father, everyone here under the influence of any spirit husband or spirit wife or any enchantment in the name of the Lord Jesus at the count of three may deliverance come to you. One, two, 
three right now right now right now i cause it i cause it let them go let them go now i release you now i release you now 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 every spirit sitting on your marital destiny i set it on fire now hallelujah now i prophesy to you in the name of the lord jesus father your people have come out because they are ready to settle down in the name of jesus whatever attribute they need to have to become award-winning wives and husbands may it come upon them now in the name of jesus wherever your husband is if he is walking in this earth right now just like boaz located ruth i call forth your life partner now by prophecy now goodness the power of god is creating a connection right now right now in the realm of the spirit right now in the name of jesus i connect you in the realm of the spirit i break every soul tie i break every soul tie i break every covenant stopping you from marriage right here we are going to hold your wedding card and announce it to the shame of the devil in the name of jesus some of you are ready to marry there's no money god punish the devil in the name of the lord jesus we call for supply the beds that brought food for elijah in the name that is above all names receive divine supply now Go and return with your testimony please rise up everybody pastor jakes please come pastor jakes is going to lead us to pray and prophesy on this request listen friends we have a god that answers prayers there are just few minutes and we'll be out of here hallelujah hallelujah please just stretch forth your hands towards this place and communicate with god get go ahead and pray Father, we pray. Rabala baka shi para gale bondo si para bale brega lele le boko sa. Raka tana da raba si te bale bondo braga la la varia da raba kasanda raba liga de. Riha tasa para bago dia de bale brega de 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 boko sa ni raba da. In the raka tada bato para kate bale brega la la varia raba do varia. Rako to paya raka tali raba raba raba. Ende brega le le bondo brago do bale brega la la varia da. Raka taya raba la la varia bale bale. Raka la bale varia raba raba da. Enda raka tala bara bara tala bara bara. Raka taba hasha bara bara. Raka tali bara 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 bara. Enda reke lele lele boko si bara bara. Rapa to sali tando ho. Imanda katoja ila. Barus ali tando. Iga boja ila. Raunda as ila palierno. Resula Italia. Rusa indo ko. Iamba uada. Wapula ada yondelu. Riamula. Uacha kayuna ma, uatu ya 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 miela, ruma uba ura gana, Rusia na, makondo robo kosi kama. Father Lord, even as we lift up these prayers before you, we ask that the fire of God come. Let the fire come from your presence. Let it come upon these prayers, Lord. Let it rise like incense to you. We release angels of God, angels of God to visit homes, angels of God to visit people in hospitals, angels of finances be released, angels of breakthrough, angels of marriages, angels responsible for salvation, healings for loved ones. In the name of Jesus, we release contracts. We release contracts. We release contracts in the name of Jesus. We speak for the to building projects. Let it arise in the name of Jesus. We speak into dead academics. Let it rise. 
dead spiritual lives let it rise the grace of God comes upon families in the blessed name of Jesus we speak to barren cases family challenges in the name of Jesus it ends we speak to divorce cases aha Lord for those trusting you for you to bring back their loved ones fathers in the name of Jesus we ask that fathers come back home in the name of Jesus we call for missing people we ask that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the angels of God bring them back in the blessed name of Jesus and Lord we speak right now into the highway aha Lord for our loved ones traveling right now Lord in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that the hand of God will be upon them the Lord will shield them in the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth father we give you praise we give you glory for every prayer point here Lord it receives answers in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we pray and the church of God says hallelujah God's servant has prayed we convert this prayer request to testimonies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ please everybody stand inside and outside please rise something must change in your life right now And Balak told Balaam, he said, go and curse the nation of Israel. And Balaam told him, he said, I have been commanded to bless and this I have done. He said, I cannot reverse it. Hallelujah. Scripture said, destroy it not for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not for there is a blessing. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. He said, Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. I want you to believe that the word that is about to come forth right now can do something remarkable in your life. We've had testimonies indescribable. This is the moment where breakthrough comes. This is the moment where lots of miracles begin to happen. Please lift your head. Hallelujah. He said, Weep not. Thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing. Thou that did not have a child. He said, for many are the children of the desolate. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I come under the apostolic unction. And I command, receive breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. I command breakthrough now every area of your life breakthrough now receive breakthrough now shake it every limit every limit i smash it in the name of jesus whatever has not been working in your life right now in the name that is above all names I command you to start walking now. Start walking now. Every voice speaking against anyone here that every time you want to move forward, there is a voice. Listen, the Bible says, in six things shall he deliver you, Job 5. He said, yes, seven things. He said in the time of famine you will laugh and you will shall be delivered from the scorching tongues of men in the name that is above all names i command 
every scourging tongue against your destiny be silenced now 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 to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified whatever has stopped your growth whether spiritually or academically the Bible says they that dwell in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God like the cedars of Lebanon will they be fat and flourishing I command barrenness to be over now I cause barrenness now I cause barrenness record to secretary reports come to Shabbat And Jesus said every tree that has not been planted by my father hallelujah I shared with you last week on the mysteries of the kingdom that there is the mystery of sleep something happens in the earth when men sleep the Bible says while men slept it's not backsliding while they slept an alien came and planted something and went away and people woke up with diseases they did not sleep with in the name of Jesus every foreigner in your body and your life that my father has not planted come out of their bodies now come out of their bodies now by the fire of the Holy Ghost come out of their bodies now hallelujah and the Lord told Moses he says see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh everything that has oppressed your life and has put you under bondage tonight you rise up above and beyond that challenge now In the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah and the sons of the prophet told Elisha he said where we meet with you is too small come let us go beyond the Jordan and the Bible says while they were felling the tree at Jordan the axe head fell and they said alas master for it was borrowed and the prophet said where did it fall and he threw a stick and the ant head began to float I reverse tonight in the name that is above all names every situation over your life that you know only God can change it may that God change it now every situation in your life that only God can change may that God change now change it now change it now That when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream and so said among the hidden the Lord has done great things for them he said the Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity oh God as the rivers in the Negev I pray let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now hallelujah because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows 
and the bible says esther went in and when the king saw her he said esther what would you have me do even up to half of my kingdom everywhere you need to enter for the next level of your life we break protocols tonight and we command that god will take you there may my god take you there may my god take you there hallelujah and the man who was crippled from birth he needed a miracle but there was no man to help him and the bible says some people lifted him and tore the zinc and put him it's one thing for men to want to help you but it's another thing for them to vow to help you all the way i prophesy every destiny helper that is responsible for the next level of your life career wise marriage wise academic wise i call them into your life now 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 hallelujah the bible says thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about genesis 24 verse 1 and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things how many things how many things every part of your life that is remaining to align with the all things anointing the bible says naaman second kings 5 was the captain of the syrian army he was a mighty man the bible says but he was crippled i pray every other area of your life that needs the touch of god let that area of your life receive that divine touch now receive it now receive it now hallelujah the bible says is there hope for a tree although it be cut down he said at the scent of water at the scent of water everything in your life that has gone down that you're asking can god take me back to this level again some of you are asking can i go back to the level of anointing i used to function in again can god take me to that level of grace again my god and your god restores all things for you now the lord most high restores all things now may the peace of god that surpasses all understanding rest and abide with you in the name of the lord jesus christ and now i pray for you may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may the lord lift up his face before you may he lift up his countenance upon you and may he give you peace in the name of the lord jesus christ give god praise hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.